Welcome! Today we're going to talk about this amazing 2022 Tesla Model X Plaid that we have for sale. One amazing mid-size luxury crossover with a very, very, very heavy emphasis on performance. Uh, the Plaid is the performance king as far as the Model X goes uh, with its dual electric motors. Actually, not dual electric motors, tri-electric motors. So it's got one electric motor in the front, two in the back, uh, giving you a combined output of well over a thousand horsepower. Zero to 60, I think, is right around three seconds. Quarter mile of time, was it like 10 seconds? Pretty ridiculously fast. There's really not too many other gas powered vehicles aside from like, you know, very, very expensive, you know, hundreds of thousands, if not million dollar hypercars that could beat this thing in straight line acceleration. Uh, obviously, when you're getting in the handling, it is a rather, you know, large mid sized crossover, so you're going to have to pay some penalties as far as handling goes compared to a sports car but um, it is very impressive. It has an amazing air suspension. Um, this has the upgraded 22 inch wheel and tire package. This thing is absolutely amazing. And it's a very practical everyday vehicle for your family. And you have a drive mode selector and uh, it's actually surprisingly docile in plaid mode, but you can put it like in chill mode, um, put it like the steering in comfort mode and it will be like a little uh, luxury vehicle. Uh, you won't even tell us a thousand horsepower. Then you can put it in drag strip mode <laughs> and feel the full force of the thousand horsepower. It uh, it's so fast it might actually make some people uncomfortable. It's like it's like uh, the initial drop when you go on a big roller to coaster. That first drop where your kind of stomach feels like it's going to go into your throat. That's kind of the sensation you get in this thing in launch mode under heavy acceleration. It's like your own personal amusement park ride. And then you have this amazing advanced uh, suspension. You can adjust, you can put it in like an auto mode uh, or you can uh, uh, adjust the settings yourself. Um, pretty amazing. We've uh, sold uh, dozens of Model Xs at Infinity of Tacoma. We do really well with pre-owned Teslas. We have a very, very big business and we have a very big pre-owned Tesla business. And anyway, I think we've had four or five Model X plaids. This particular one is really nice. I, I love the color combination of black on black. So with Tesla, uh, basically, you know, you get one color for free. Um, and then everything else, <laughs> uh, there's not too many options, but all the optional equipment uh, does cost a little bit more money. Uh, you know, I've had some people comment on, you know, videos on Facebook saying, well, I can buy a brand new one for 95,000. Well, even though this one is priced well below 95,000, I don't get too much into pricing because we change our pricing on a weekly basis. And maybe someone's watching this video five years in the future, so pricing might seem out of whack. But this one is priced well, uh, well under the $95,000 as a brand new uh, Model X. But this has some extras on it. The 22 inch wheel and tire package, I think now is about uh, 4,500 or $5,000. Uh, a regular steering wheel is uh, standard. If you want the yoke, which this one has, it's a thousand dollars extra for the yoke. I like the yoke. Not everyone's crazy about it. So if you buy this one and you're not crazy about it, you can actually pay Tesla to install a regular steering wheel. I think it's like seven or 800 bucks to install a regular steering wheel if you're not crazy about the yoke, but try it out. You might actually learn to like it. Uh, the black exterior, I think is also $2,000. And the big ticket item is a full self-driving capability. That's uh, $12,000 right now. So I built a comparable brand new one in the Tesla uh, configurator and a brand new one like this delivered with a charger is about $116,000. Um, so yeah, this I think is a great value if you like the options and color combination and you want the full self-driving capability. Uh, I have a Tesla full self-driving. I've been driving for about a year and a half, going on two years. Uh, every couple of months, Tesla updates the full self-driving and it gets better and better. I'm actually awaiting a big update, FSD 12, which is supposed to be a very, very uh, big advancement in full self-driving capability. Some people actually compare it to as good as driving as Waymo. But where Waymo cars have $150,000 in LiDAR sensors and cameras all around it, this one just uses the like, eight cameras that it comes with the factory. So if Tesla can you know, get to full self-driving to the point of Waymo without having to have all that expensive gear on it. I think that's definitely a big achievement. And Tesla has billion, billions and billions of uh, miles of driving data. So all this data they're collecting every day, they use it to improve the software and make it better. And no one can come close to the amount of uh, data that Tesla has for full self-driving, nobody. So to me, I think they're getting very close to cracking it. It might be another few years, but there's a very real possibility that this vehicle could really truly drive itself. It does great and it's full self-driving right now, but you do or you are required to keep your hand in the wheel and pay attention because sometimes you can do the wrong thing at the wrong time. For the most part, it works great. Um, but uh, you know, in light traffic, driving on the highway, 
driving in country back roads and stuff it is almost flawless but in complex driving situations that you know heavy traffic intersections rotaries uh areas which are kind of a little bit unusual as far as you know uh you know the design goes for, for uh the traffic uh the design goes for the roads and stuff it can get confused and you need to help it out and you can easily take over but um and if, and if you're not ready for full self-driving quite yet you can go here and you can just put it in uh, regular autopilot mode until you're ready to use the full self-driving so you can kind of dumb it down a little bit until you're ready and comfortable you have this huge screen right here um it's qu quite amazing you have these great backup cameras um and uh this screen is fairly complex as well uh, while it's parked, you can watch movies, which is pretty awesome. If you're riding in the ferry or maybe the Mr. and Mrs. inside the store shopping, you're in the car with the kids, this can come in very handy. You can play video games. This actually has a pretty advanced processor. It can play some pretty graphics intensive games, unlike earlier Teslas. They're constantly adding games and stuff like that. You can even get like a regular keyboard and mouse or like an Xbox style game controller, Bluetooth controller to play games on the screen. Um, and some of the driving games, you can actually use a steering wheel and uh, pedal, gas pedal and brake to operate those. You have the toy box with the silly things like the whoopee cushion and things like that. Romance mode, multi-track recorder, <laughs> all that silly stuff. Um, we have heated and ventilated front seats, heated steering wheel. Uh, the majority of the functionalities in the screen, uh, operating the climate control system is very intuitive. Uh, we have bio defense mode, uh, which is quite amazing. This has HEPA filters in it. Uh, pretty much the size of the HEPA filters that you have in your house. Um, and it just doesn't clean the air inside uh, coming into the vehicle. Actually, will continually filter the air inside the vehicle through those HEPA filters and clean it. But when you put the biodefense mode in, what it does is it pressurizes the air inside the cabin. So the only way air can come in is through those giant HEPA filters. So if you have allergies, you know, there's uh, smoke pollution in the air from forest fires, things like that, it can all be filtered out by this advanced uh, HVAC system. Quite amazing. I um, mean, you don't always have to use this, uh, the, the screen to do things. You have 150 di different voice commands that you can use. So you don't even have to take your eyes off the road. You can just use the voice commands to do things like wipers on one. Rear defroster on. Wipers off. Yeah, so all these people that review Teslas, then uh, they don't really take the time to really learn all the ins and doubts of it, which is hard. I'm still learning new stuff every day and I've been messing with Teslas for years. But the people who review these Teslas and they constantly ridicule the screen and they don't talk about the voice commands and stuff like that, they're not doing uh, uh, their consumers or their readers justice in a, a quality review. Uh, you can do a lot of things without having to mess with the screen, without having to take your eyes off the road with the voice commands and it works really nice. All right, so much to talk about. Let's keep this walk around going along. <laughs> I could probably talk about this uh, Model X for hours. <laughs> it's just so different than any other vehicle. So you have a frunk right here. Uh, normally there'd be an engine, uh, but since there's no engine, you have additional storage and it's also a safety feature. You have a crumple zone that's about 60% larger than a comparable gas powered vehicle. A comparable gas powered vehicle uh, so you have all that space in there to absorb crash energy in a frontal collision. Uh, it's actually one of the safest vehicles on the road uh, when they redesign the S and X. Oh, it also has a smart proximity key, so the door will open automatically. It senses that I actually have my phone set up as a key, so if I actually get near the vehicle, and you can shut the setting off, or you can put it on, but you just get in the car. <laughs> it senses that you're close to it, it'll open the door automatically. You put the foot in the brake, it closes, and you can get driving without even having to touch anything. I don't know if there's any other vehicle that can do that. It's pretty amazing. Then we have these uh, cool Falcon wing doors. There's sensors all around it, so they may open differently depending on the parking situation. Um, you can park pretty close to other vehicles and they won't hit the other vehicles when you open and close them. The Plaid uh, comes of one seating configuration. Um, some of the other Teslas, like the non-Tesla Plaid, it comes standard as a five-seater and you have to pay extra for third row seating or you can have a second row bench but the plaid comes in a six uh, seat configuration right now this is the only way you can configure it so you have two in the front two in the middle of these really nice comfy uh captain's chairs and then you can sit two in the back then when they uh, redesigned the interior on the x 
they added this screen back here so you can uh, control the, uh, the seats so uh, you have heated seats for both uh, the second and third row um, and you can watch movies back here while you're driving you can put on your wireless headphones listen to the movies and stuff like that that's a really cool feature that they added uh, you can pick and choose music that's playing so much cool stuff to talk about you have these buttons right here to open and close the falcon wing doors the Model X first came out in 2016 and when it first came out in 2016 they did have some issues with these falcon wing doors but I think they've kind of ironed out all the bugs that we've had dozens of Model X's and uh, knock on wood I've never had any issues with these falcon wing doors so I think they pretty much worked all the bugs out of them it is a little bit more of a complex system that we find in other vehicles but it's also really cool nice trunk mounted spoiler got the plaid badge right there uh, the third row seats fold down fairly flat. You have this little button right there and you can fold them flat. Unfortunately, the second row fleet seats aren't going to fold flat with those captain's chairs. You'd have to get a non-plaid uh, axe with a bench seat in order to do that. But if you want the plaid, the 1,000 horsepower, this is the way you got to do it. Then you have additional storage under there. Normally, they'd be a gas tank or an exhaust system, but since this is an EV, you just have more storage. We also have a tow hitch. I think when properly equipped, you can tow right around 6,500 pounds with the Model X. Obviously, this is not a heavy-duty tow vehicle. It's a performance crossover, but 6,500 pounds is pretty good. And obviously, with 1,000 horsepower, it's not going to really break a sweat pulling 6,500 pounds. This thing is absolutely beautiful, uh, quite unlike anything else on the road. Uh, there's mo no mistaking the Model X with anything else, no confusing of anything else. And this thing is just so much fun to drive. Uh, the full self-driving up oh, there it's trying to let me in again <laughs> the full self-driving is really cool actually i have one thing i want to show you uh, before we end this video uh they had a recent update and now it has a new uh self-park feature so let's give that a try let's see if we can get this thing to park itself all right so now i can see that spot right there that i'm going to park in so now press auto park and let's see how it does. I wouldn't say it's as fast as I am, but it's doing a pretty good job. And obviously this is a new feature, so I'm sure, you know, once they have this uh, operating for a little while, it should get faster. But it's better to be slow and cautious than fast and bumping into something. Um, this is the second time I did it. The first time I did it, it did a little quicker, but this time it's a little bit slower. But if you're not great at parking... <laughs> This will be a godsend, I think, for a lot of people. Some people just are not uh, crazy about parking, so something like this would be super awesome. Let's see how it did. Well, it was a little slow, but I would have to say that is an absolutely perfect parking job. It's dead center, pretty much right in between the lines. It didn't even come close to hitting that rear bumper bump stop right there yeah not bad pretty cool well and that's the thing about teslas is that with the over their updates it's a vehicle that is constantly getting better as it ages so with all these software updates you know it's getting features like when this car was first sold it didn't have that auto park feature then it gets a software update and now you have a new feature you have a new thing that adds value to it and it'll continue to get better as the years of miles roll along even my tesla even though it's a 2019 i've had a lot of updates and uh, it's added features keeping it relevant uh, and that's the amazing thing with tesla and as far as i i can tell no one comes close to tesla as far as the over updates come and then another ace in the hole for tesla aside from the amazing uh, supercharging network which is a whole other thing uh, you have this amazing supercharging network uh, but obviously this is a pretty good range and i think it's about a little over 300 350 miles when fully charged you have tesla's amazing app so you can pull up information, you can preheat the car, you can pull up the location, you can find superchargers, you can send uh, coordinates uh, from your phone right to the navigation system. Well, that completes our little walk around and information on this 2022 Tesla Model X Plaid. Thanks so much for taking the time today to watch this video. 
Hopefully see you soon and have a wonderful day.